Good morning, my happy are back. Here's the plan. There will be work done on the countertop for the kitchen island. More pool cleaning. More work on the exterior decorative parts. More work on ceilings, including uh, some more selignum being added in the wooden areas. More on drainage. Plus, I need some feedback. Yesterday's video, sorry, we had a brown out, so it's, as I'm filming this, it's still not loaded. I did put on it, for the first time, um, adverts. I don't know what they're gonna look like. I don't know how frequent they're gonna be. I don't know how long they're gonna be. I think they are ads that you can skip. Please give me feedback. I don't wanna annoy everybody by doing this. So can you let me know? Is it acceptable? Is it something you can live with? Or are you all gonna now just unsubscribe and stop watching? Please do, either way, be honest and let me know, is it okay or not? What could possibly go wrong? Swimming pool, Elson's back on tile scrubbing duty. I've decided that probably is the worst job. It's got to be very hard to just keep doing that for a whole day. But the water looks good. It does look like there's something soapy in there. I don't know if one of the kids last night, after they finished swimming, had a bit of a shower, shampoo. Coelito working on more trenching and assisting our plumber, Mr. Ronell, over there. So a lot more piping going in today. Singing Rico is working on the base to start and to prepare to put the concrete on that kitchen countertop, the kitchen island. Currently not singing Rico, he's adding selignum onto the wooden panels. This is in the dining room. Mr. Rene working on this decorative element again this morning. And up above, singing Marvin after a day or two's break is back doing a bit more plastering. <laughs> I hope you can see that. I shall zoom in and show you his smiley face. The solar team should be back uh, probably around mid-afternoon today. And we will find out whether the batteries are all fully charged and the system is functional. We, I, can't tell from the displays. A, because I don't know which button to press. Uh, to show me the displays and I don't want to mess around with this because I've not had my training yet and B because even if I saw the displays I wouldn't know what they meant but by mid to afternoon or thereabouts we'll get to understand do we have a fully functional system now that can run the pump for the swimming pool and possibly the other small house that we're in here we've got Erwin and just to my left Oliver putting together the ridge for the greenhouse. So the struts, the, the size of the ridge, sorry, it's got a 20 centimeter vertical connection and then the wings coming out the side are 30 centimeters. So that's about 12 inches for those wings and about eight inches raised up. So they're working on all that. And we have asked for another change this morning, which I'll talk about in a moment. We've asked for two additions to this structure just to try and give it that extra little bit of strength, rigidity. Uh, on the walls, all the way around, we're now gonna put diagonal braces. In fact, Manny's just having a look to see what that might look like. And in the roof, somewhere towards the top third, I think. 
we're going to put uh, horizontal braces from one side of the roof to the other. Again, just that little bit more structural integrity. It's just after lunch and Elson over there back on full scrubbing duty. Oh my goodness, he's been going at this for a day and a half now. The water looks magnificent and I can't go into it. I just had to go see a doctor because my ear got gunked up. So I've been degunked. But he said, no swimming for a week. Oh my word. More trench digging in the scorching sun. So more drains going across the back of the house. And one of the reasons we've got that is because, take a dizzy pill. The second septic tank is going to be somewhere over there. Not sure exactly where it'll be yet, but that needs connecting as well. Erwin is working on part of the greenhouse ridge. There's a second part over there. And Oliver is painting this piece. I have absolutely no idea what those parts are ahead of us. No idea where that's going. We've had a small setback with our solar. The, the team from Solster X actually can't make it in today. Uh, they'll be back tomorrow. But we did just look uh, under their instruction, took a quick look at the displays on the inverters. I don't know what it all means. They're gonna tell me, I sent them some photos. Um, as far as I could tell, the batteries now are at 100%. Power is flowing. I think we are using solar power right now. I won't know that for absolute certain until tomorrow. Upstairs, Siggy Marvin is applying skim coat to the outside of the bedroom and the northeast, northeast corner. Inside the kitchen, singing Rico working on the kitchen island inside the dining room. Donald and non-singing Rico working on the ceiling. And on the outside here, we've got, oh, Elson. I thought he was in the pool. Maybe it's somebody else. Plus another, but I can't tell who it is. I'm guessing that's Mr. Rene. It is. Working on this uh, decorative feature on the outside wall. Looking from the inside now, Rico working on the rebar grid and Rich is just putting in some spaces for the base for this kitchen island. I don't remember what the final dimensions were. I'll have to go and look at my pieces of paper, but it's, it certainly should be big enough. And, and the idea ultimately is that on the, this end of it, and a, lit, a part of the right-hand side, there'll be a breakfast bar. So there will be some stools. So this area, we try to give a little bit more space from where I'm standing up to the island. And then, as I've said before, half of it, very, very roughly, will be hardwood and half of it will be granite. granite. And I can't remember, but I think at the far right end will be where the gas burners are. There's no cooker in here, they're separate. It's just a gas burner. Plus, we'll have Ethernet charging points, various other bits and pieces, but we're trying to keep this surface kind of clear of too many things. I've seen some islands that have rising TV sets. We don't need that. Uh, Donald and Rico making a lot more progress with the gypsum board here in the dining room. Next piece about to slot in. Let's see if it fits. Oh like a glove. Perfect. I was too slow. Mr. Jesse was just saying he's wiring pin lighting and strip lighting here in the gym and spa area. A conversation between our engineer and our plumber. 
and I know what this is about is because a few minutes ago I just said to the engineer we need to think about water filtration I imagine probably it was in the builders plan anyway but I want to make sure we have a very robust water filtration system there's a video on Kazatex Pina always one of my go-to's uh, where they show their installation of their filtration system and it's a beast but it honestly is not a massive amount of money it's a, of course it's not cheap it's a 21 stage water filtration system but we were just talking about where are we going to put it regardless of the actual system we get and I think it should go here on this northwest corner of the house it would or should have some kind of a cover over it uh, whether that is actually a concrete roof or something a, a little bit less heavy than that uh, I don't mind as long as it'll just protect the system that goes here but it's, it does have quite a large footprint and so we're just trying to figure out is this the right place to put it uh, to allow us to have water going into the house both hot and up to the hot water tank hopefully the solar hot water tank but I think just here it's kind of out of the way a little bit protected it will potentially block one of the security cameras that we had planned for along here but I can adjust that and make sure we don't have a, a blank spot it's either here or I suppose it could be along somewhere along this wall so that's the discussion we need the input from the plumber to say what from his point of view makes sense. It's very nearly 4.30 and we have more family come to visit. Word of the pool has gotten out. I think this is going to be a pretty regular occurrence now. And of course it's absolutely fine. We just need to see the look of enjoyment on these young faces to make it all worthwhile. In the kitchen we have our slab poured for the kitchen island. In the dining room, we've got the central part of the ceiling done with gypsum board. We've got the intermediate part done. In fact, the next two parts, as we move outwards, are done. Just got the very outside not yet completed all the way around. It is done partially along here and a little bit more over on this side. Singing Marvin continued with plaster coat on the outside of this bedroom on north west corner. No, north east dummy. And down here a little bit more work was done on with this uh, decorative area. All of the ridge frame for the greenhouse is now white as is this unknown part. I will ask tomorrow where does that fit into the scheme of things. There are some more struts that are being put together. I think those look like they might be for the top of the roof to give that uh, horizontal support. I'm not sure about that because some of them are very short. We'll find out again hopefully tomorrow. I still don't know how to fully read the display panels on the inverters. When I shot the photos over to the solar team uh, earlier on, they said everything was working, batteries are at 100%, solar power is coming uh, out of the system and going around the site. It is, Upper Jess tells me, now supplying the other small house as well as a few bits and pieces, including the pump for the swimming pool. Over here, there is still, and this is something I don't quite understand, there is still a tiny draw on grid power, even though uh, our power usage is easily within the capability of the system. Uh, it was tiny. When they looked at it, it was 30 watts was coming out of, I think, 2.47 kilowatts of total power being consumed. But that's something, again, I need explaining to me tomorrow. Uh, how does that work? Why is there still any power being drawn? 
and also how to read both of these inverters in tandem. What are they telling me? Uh, I can see them separately. Are they showing me the same thing or something slightly different? Need to have a look at that tomorrow, but we are solarized. At the back of the house, trenches were dug, pipes were put in, trenches were filled in, at least across to just about where the little ramp is coming out of the patio. More to do beyond that, that's for tomorrow. Once again, we'll end here at the pool, smiling happy faces, making the most of this warm, lovely weather we've got. So this is nephew Chance and his dad, Franz. And I'm sure there'll be, this is almost gonna be a daily occurrence. It wouldn't surprise me. And let them come. See you tomorrow.